During Rescue Squad 3's morning shift change, a call comes in. Auto accident. Rescue Squad 3 arrives on scene. Squad 3 prepares to extract the victim with the jaws of life. I became a firefighter because it's something that I wanted to do for a long time and, and I just love doing what I do. I love riding on the fire truck. I love going down the street real fast with the sirens and horn blaring. 
I love that. I have a brother-in-law who's a firefighter, and actually he's with the D.C. Fire Department. He was one of the people who actually encouraged me to apply to become a firefighter. Basically just doing a little drill. So we had a guy with 90-day detail going through his stuff for his test and everything. Kind of prefab the door to save on lumber. We had some stuff cut. We're going to build a, build a makeshift door just to bring the width in just a little bit and the height so we can reuse some lumber. As the afternoon rolls around, Sam conducts shoring exercises with me. Shoring comes into play after the collapse of a structure, creating a safe environment for first responders to go in and do their job. All right, now just tap this one here, back to the air, get the flush. Get to the top, get the header, and off. Raise the bottom, and raise the top. Lock the top. Get the Drive it completely in. There they are, right here. And we're looking for rollout, and if we, if, if we wedge from the bottom, then the forces are coming down. We can capture the bottom better and keep the top solid. Now we don't have a lot of rollout at the bottom, at the top. That's where the forces are coming down my um, post limbs from top to the bottom. With my header and my sole plate, I have to take off for an inch and a half for my wedges. And for my post, I take off eight and a half for my wedges. And I put my, my um, wedges down on the bottom. I put one wedger on the side for my header and the opposite side for the sole plate. So that's what I've done so far. Yep. All in place up here. Now we're just getting our post in place. We're gonna pressurize the post. That way we can. Uh, oh, I got that way uh, the load can transmit from the from uh, the header into the sole plate. Yep. All in place up here. Now we're just getting our post in place. We're gonna pressurize the post. That way we can. Uh, oh, I got that way uh, the load can transmit from the head. From uh, the header into the sole plate at this point, and then we'll tie it in with uh, gussets and cleats. That way, it doesn't uh, shift or rack out of the capture the load. Come with it. Something that you can do just to keep this one connected because sometimes, you know, with the hammer and everything, right. it shifts as, as the wedge packs will come out. Mm -hmm. If you're just pulling in, it's just a toenail that'll capture, keep it from shifting a whole lot. All right, capture both sides. We'll do, uh, we'll do a gusset. Gusset right here. No, we'll, we'll do it over here because there's no wedges. Okay. Now, it always helps. A lot of people you see them up here trying to hammer. Mm -hmm. There you go, eight and five. I would do is this. Take your pencil. All right. That's for the eight. And of course, just and then you can get a rough estimate of where where your nails should go. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people don't. What happens is they get them all in one little group, one little spot. Yeah. So spread them out. Now over here you want the eight penny nails, and you're going to do eight and five. You'll do. Look at here. You'll do two, one, two, one, two. Okay. Right, put it down here where you're capturing as much of it as possible. 
right there just like that. Once that's in, go ahead. Here, I got them right here, bro. And then start it. This is set up right now. This is safe enough for us to move forward. Depending on where you're at. You're on the East Coast. We're not worried about the, the quakes and everything, so we don't have a lot of uh, movement aftershocks and all that. This would be good enough for us to move through. Now, as the team moves through, then there's a team that comes right behind them and we'll finish it up and we'll mirror this side over here. Yeah. All right, if we're using it. If we're just shoring up this doorway and we're not actually going, we're not going to use it, then we wouldn't even do all this. We put that there. These would be out and we just exit. One here, I should do uh, one here and one over here. And it should be X'd out. It's captured, it's taken the load into the header. It's transmitting into the post, down into the sole and out. It's pressurized both ways out of uh, the corners. All right, and the corners down here. So they've been the weight is coming down that way. Right? right, the weight's pushing down. All right. Well, my off time is spent at home with my wife. Um, I've been married now for seven years. She really doesn't like that I am a firefighter, but she supports my decision to be a firefighter. Neither one of my sons wants to be a firefighter. Both of them wants to be professional athletes, so I'd say be a professional athlete if that's what you want to do. But right now, I'm going to be a firefighter true to heart. The crew prepare lunch. It's been a slow afternoon. Mm. Yes, sir. Hey, that's good. Are they done yet? I don't know, are they? Where's the pole at? A call comes in for Rescue Squad 3. A possible structure collapse. You may help in the investigation. Long-term moisture damage has caused the sheetrock to become waterlogged and has fallen from the ceiling.
victims are transported to the hospital. Just swing up here, this way. 